All right, so first thing we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna work on the shoulder flexors. So your shoulder flexors are your anterior deltoid, your pec major, your coracobrachialis, your biceps brachii. So first exercise we're gonna be doing today is straight front raises out in front of you. So Kaylee is gonna stand about shoulder width apart. She's going to slight bend in the knee and she's going to raise the dumbbells right out in front of her. So that part of the exercise right there when she reaches the top is the concentric phase of the exercise. And as she's coming down would be the eccentric phase of the exercise. And this is the side view, just to show that. 90 degree angle with the shoulders and the torso as she's going up. Perfect. So this exercise is performed for flexion for both exercises they are gonna be performed in the sagittal plane. And there's the open kinetic chain exercise for that. And now you can jump on the table. Um, so now she's gonna assume a plank position and she's gonna do this. Now she's going to slide the towel out in front of her to the left arm, perfect, while slowly lowering herself to the ground. And as she's fully extending the towel as far as she can go, that is the concentric phase right there of this exercise. And when she's coming back in would be the eccentric phase. And now just a modified version of this exercise, she can do it from her knees. If she doesn't have the core strength to keep it tight there, perfect. And now she's reminding herself to keep her core engaged and to avoid having an ex or excessive lordosis of the lower back. Good. And that is shoulder flexion. So first or next we're gonna be doing our horizontal adduction exercises. So horizontal adduction will be performed in the transverse plane and is primarily performed by the deltoids, pec major, pec minor, and the biceps brachii, okay? So first thing, she's going to lay down on her back. This is going to be an open kinetic chain exercise. It's going to be dumbbell flies. So the patient's gonna be lying supine. She's going to extend her arms out in front of her. She's going to have a slight bend in the elbow and now she's going to bring them down. Good, and that would be the eccentric phase of the exercise as she's lowering them down. And then the concentric phase is when she's bringing them back to the top, trying to squeeze through her chest and through her shoulder and arms. Good. Exhaling everything on every rep and try not to lift her lower back off the table to give herself any compensations. Good. Okay. So that was our open kinetic chain exercise for horizontal adduction. And now we will move to our closed kinetic chain exercise, which is gonna be a decline push-up. So from here, Kaylee is going to put her feet up on the stool. She's going to make sure she has a nice flat back. And now she's going to push down, which is the eccentric phase of the exercise. And then her push up would be the concentric phase of the exercise. This again is working the pec major, anterior deltoid, coracobrachialis. Perfect. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna be working on our horizontal abduction. So these exercises will also be performed in the transverse plane. And we're gonna, horizontal abductors are your posterior delt, your middle trap, your lower trap, your rhomboid major and minor, your infraspinatus, and your supraspinatus. So what we're gonna start with here is Kaylee is going to do band pull-aparts. So she's going to have the band out in front of her at a 90 degree angle with some uh, shoulder flexion, and she's going to pull the band apart. Perfect. And that would be the concentric phase of the exercise as she's doing the actual pulling apart. And then when she's bringing it back together, that's when we'll see our eccentric phase. She wants to have a slight bend in the knee still, just a little athletic position, and keep those arms at 90 degrees of shoulder flexion. Perfect. And then if she turns behind, she should be pushing her scapulas together with this exercise. Good. Really engaging the rhomboid major, minor, lower trap, and mid trap. Okay, next exercise. So that was our open kinetic chain exercise.
for our last exercise here is going to be our closed kinetic chain. And she's going to do horizontal abductor towel slides in a push-up position. So what she's going to do is she's going to come up. She's going to keep her back flat, same position as before. And now she's going to move her arm out to the right. Good. As she's slowly lowering herself down to that position. Good. Reminding to keep her core tight and to keep that excessive lordosis out of her lower back. She could also do this from a modified position from her knees, which will make it a little bit easier. Good. Perfect. And that was our exercises. <laughs>